Here's an example of one that's been growing for a while. And you can see this one down here in the middle is the one that it started with. Okay, and it's starting to starting to go away. Once these things bloom after within a few months to a year, those growths will die out. And we can just actually just go in there and twist them right out of there. Okay, and now we're left with things here. These have actually, this one has bloomed, but it's not gone away yet, and then it's got these little side pups on it. So if you grow these things well, and it's hard not to grow them well, they're really easy to grow, they will form these nice clumps of bromeliads. That, that's probably two years since I put the original parents in there. Here's another one. Notice how tight it is. Uh, it's a Lilliputiana hybrid. Oh, I got to show you a little little Pusheon. It's my absolute smallest thing you can find. This is a little Pusheon. Isn't that awesome? Here's the flower. You can actually see the flower on this one. Okay, it's got some more to come. I need to find something to pollinate that flower. Um, this is little Pusheon. When you see things made with little Pusheon as a parent, what they're going for is this small size. Here, there's my hand. That's what I don't know, an inch, and a half, maybe, at most. Cute little thing. Here's the way I like to grow a lot of mine. This is called Red Waif, and sorry, it's got a little hard water spots on the leaves. I can shine it up with my finger here. Um, this is Red Waif. There's the plant I put on there. This is a piece of grapevine. Okay, just regular grapevine. And I've just tied it onto here with some fishing line. We'll do a demonstration at some other um, video. And it's been growing like that, hanging up on my little wire rack here for a year or so. Um, bromeliads are epiphytes and they grow up on the sides of trees. They so were just mimicking the way they grow in nature. Here's another cute little one. This is called Babe. It's one of my smallest. Um, this is growing on a piece of cork bark. If I were to take this fishing line off, I don't have scissors or I would do it. This would be stuck right on here. That This is rooted right onto this cork. It's not going anywhere. So, that's how you grow them out. Let's grow over here.